Sometimes when I go to the doctor, they order a blood test, a urine test, or both. What's the difference and which tells my doctor more information? Well, there are a lot of scenarios where your doctor will order a urine test or what's called a urinalysis as well as blood tests looking for um, other clues as to what's going on. And one, uh, one thing I'm going to show everyone here is kidney stones. Because if your doctor's worried that you have kidney stones, they may first order a urine test and a blood test. Let's talk about what is a kidney stone. Well, minerals, as your kidney filters the blood, certain minimal minerals can congregate and form kidney stones. There are different types of kidney stones. It's not a big deal if, you, if it's sitting in your kidney or it passes through your ureter, but what happens is if one of these kidney stones gets big enough and it gets trapped in your ureters, which carries urine from your kidneys to your bladder, it'll start spasming. That spasm is, is what causes intense pain. If we suspect that you have a kidney stone, we'll check your urine we're looking for blood in the urine because oftentimes a kidney stone will cause blood in the urine. And we're also going to make sure you don't have a concomitant urinary tract infection, which makes it more serious. And then if there's concerns, if the stone is big enough or you have bilateral stones, sometimes it can cause what's called hydronephrosis because all that pressure builds up back in the kidney and it can affect your kidney function. A blood test is what we would then look at to look at your creatinine, which is a measure of your kidney function. So we're looking for different things with different tests. Mm -hmm. And another one is diabetes. So one way that we see if you know that your sort your system's going off or going towards diabetes is we see if you're spilling sugar in your urine. Now that's just a little screening test. And one of the ways we can more you know definitively diagnose this is then with a blood test. And we do like a fasting blood test, or other women will also know we even go further sometimes from the fasting blood test to a one-hour glucose test and then a three-hour glucose tolerance test. So you know all these things can be checked with you know, screening test in this case with the urine for, for sugar and then the blood to further diagnose if you have diabetes or not. So there's a rhyme and a reason to why we do what we do and one is not always better than the other.